hate waiting, although it really doesn't matter. When I talk with Jason, he'll probably say three words to me and call that a conversation. You know, there's not much sense in us hanging around here. Why don't we go... Go see Monica. She probably has some information about Jason. Hmm? Oh, Monica has far better things to do than to, to take my blood pressure. Oh, we'd probably be doing her a kindness, giving her a distraction. I'm sure she's just as worried as you are. Would you take your hand off my father, please? Well, Sky was going with me to see Jason, since you obviously don't care about your nephew. Are you all right? He was having chest pains at last night's fundraiser. Well, it was probably some, some indigestion. At all. Perhaps it's the company you're keeping. Forgive me for caring about grandfather. Stop calling him that must you always be so unpleasant daddy would you wake up all she wants is your money if you keep her in the will and she you drop dead right in front of her face she won't shed a tear unlike you who withheld my medicine from me when i needed Whoa. okay that's it we're going to see monica you get on the next tramp train out of town maybe maybe the pains are a result of your bad attitude daddy why don't you thank me for protecting you oh, please Me. Well, if it isn't the lovely Miss Quartermain, or is it Chandler? I lose track. I've been as nice as I can for as long as I can. I need to see you now. I thought you'd never ask. Irish wife, I don't know how much you may have heard about my plans to use the bakery as a drug doc. Yeah, it would be a real shame if she suddenly had to take a turn for the worse. Anthony. Oh, don't you look delicious. You're not wearing my gift? Don't tell me you already pawned it. Oh, not yet, but I may need to if I don't get my money. You get paid when the job is finished. Well, there are still a few arrangements to finalize. So far... All I've heard are vague promises. I need some reassurance you intend to deliver. Don't worry. You will get everything you need to make Tracy squirm. You gotta love family. Never pass up a chance to stab each other in the back. Oh, yeah, it's like walking the... You don't get paid for changing your mind. There's no cold feet. There's no protestations of family loyalty. Oh, please. Tracy is not my family. She's made that abundantly clear. And what about the old man? Hey, you leave Edward out of this. Edward Quarterman's done uh, a lot of damage and made a big profit doing it. Maybe. But Edward has a heart, despite his flaws. Too bad you can't say that about everybody. Oh, you wound me. Oh, I doubt that. You seem impervious to cutting remarks. Sometimes I strike back. You know, you and Tracy are a lot alike that way. Tracy is a fascinating woman in her own right. Oh, please tell me, which are you pursuing? Tracy's money or Tracy herself? Maybe I want it all. Well, the deal was Tracy. Take her down, grind her under both heels if you want, but the minute you go after Edward, I walk and I take everything I know with me. Oh, you're full of fire, aren't you? Please appreciate me from a distance. You get too close, you'll get burned. Now do we have a deal? It's a pleasure doing business with you. Too late, Daddy's already left. I'm glad Edward isn't here. I wouldn't want to upset him. <laughs> Spare me your phony concern. Your history speaks for itself. Tracy, you're so good at knowing where I did and didn't come from about how I was looking to grab as much as I couldn't run. Tell me, how are you when it comes to your own history? <sighs> Get to the point. If you insist. Gino Salito. 